Because <laughs> they didn't know what I was doing. Yeah, no one knew. Yeah. No one they knew. don't need to know. Yeah. They know now. Yeah, those who can do. Those who can't talk about those who can. All the ins and outs of this situation, but uh, there but for the grace of God. So what a responsibility you all have to be, to tell the truth. Got full of the whole industry. I mean, it's a very strange place, Holly Weirdwood. Uh, <laughs> but it's, um, it's an odd place. Boy, it seems as if I'm being sacrificed over here. Denzel Washington pairs up with Mel Gibson to expose Hollywood dark secrets. Denzel said things have changed a lot, and it's not as perfect as it seems. Hollywood is like a puzzle with hidden pieces. People are talking a lot about what Denzel said, and even the big shots in Hollywood are worried. You're white, or whatever you are. I'm black, or whatever I am. We're standing here talking now. Now with Mel Gibson joining in, they're going to dig deep and find out what's true. Get ready for some scorching Hollywood buzz that you won't want to miss out on. Two major films, Barbie and Oppenheimer, are setting records records with their blockbuster opening numbers. But hold on to your seats because there's a surprise hit, quietly stealing the spotlight at the box office. It's none other than Sound of Freedom, a gripping story about a former Homeland Security agent fighting against the dark world of human trafficking. Since its release on July 4th, it has been making a splash, raking in an astonishing $166 million in earnings. And that's not all. During the weekend of July 21st to 23rd, it even surpassed the highly anticipated Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1, securing the third spot in box office earnings, trailing just behind the dynamic duo Barbenheimer. Back in the early 2000s, Jim Caviezel was getting really popular in Hollywood. This film, undoubtedly, is the best film I've done since the... He had a truthful and calm way of acting that made him shine in movies like Angel Eyes, The Count of Monte Cristo, and Frequency. But what made him famous worldwide was when he played the main character in the 2004 movie, The Passion of the Christ, directed by Mel Gibson. The movie made a lot of money, but it also divided people's opinions. And it, I just kept having visions about it, you know, and about, you know, what was that like 12 hours like? What, and what was that really like? Some liked it and some didn't, mainly because they thought it was too violent and had things that could be seen as negative towards certain religious groups. Even though The Passion of the Christ made over $600 million around the world, Jim Caviezel's strong connection to the film and the role he played as Jesus Christ, along with his deep commitment to his Catholic faith, made some people in Hollywood not want to work with him. Jim Caviezel is facing a similar situation with his newest movie, Sound of Freedom. But hold on to your hats because here Here's where the plot thickens. As Sound of Freedom continues its unstoppable ascent, it's attracting controversy that has Hollywood buzzing. The industry is attempting to ban the film, but here's the twist. Denzel Washington is taking a stand against the storm. Yes, you read that correctly. Denzel Washington is standing up against Hollywood's attempt to silence Sound of Freedom, and he's not pulling any punches when it comes to sharing his thoughts on why he believes Hollywood awards shows are struggling. Denzel is calling out the woke Hollywood elites for their insistence on pushing identity politics onto audiences. He's not holding back, pointing out that these individuals consider themselves above the rest while enjoying their luxurious million-dollar mansions. Directed by Alejandro Gomez Monteverde and penned by Rob Barr, Sound of Freedom has not only captured audience hearts but has also commanded critics' attention, boasting a rare A-plus cinema score and an impressive 100% audience approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes. The movie undeniably strikes a resonant chord with viewers. Amidst its triumphs, Sound of Freedom hasn't been entirely without minor hurdles. Reports of delays and controversies have sparked discussions among both fans and critics. Interestingly, this film was completed a few years back under the banner of 20th Century Studios. However, when Disney took the reins, they seemingly discarded it, while paradoxically investing almost $300 million in the Indiana Jones Project, a venture that's not guaranteed to yield profits. The irony is quite striking. It's well known that Hollywood often gauges a movie's triumph by its box office figures. It's akin to asserting that Beyonce is superior to Beethoven solely based on album sales. A rather unconventional comparison, isn't it? Even former President Donald Trump, who appointed Tim Ballard to a State Department Advisory Council in 2019, shared the movie trailer on his new social media venture, Truth Social. Undoubtedly, there's talk of potential prohibitions surrounding this film. It's gonna be very awkward when the mainstream media comes after these kids next. Denzel Washington, however, isn't taking this lightly. In a recent interview, he fervently took Hollywood to task, admonishing 
their arrogance and detachment from everyday individuals. In this milieu of certain celebrities being out of touch with reality, Denzel Washington emerges as an anchored individual. He evidently maintains his perspective and openly expresses his aversion to such attitudes within the entertainment realm. I think it's more important to make headway in our own house. By the time the system comes into play, the damage is done. Fearlessly challenging the established order, he serves as a refreshing presence amid the chaos. In an eye-opening interview that sent shockwaves through the film industry, Denzel Washington cast illumination on Hollywood's shadowy and unsettling aspects. He exposed how influential elites within the industry sometimes endeavor to sway actors into accepting roles that contradict their principles. Even though some critics had mixed feelings, Sound of Freedom is doing really well in the movies. It had some problems during its making but got support from many famous people like Mel Gibson. The work on the story started way back in 2015 and they filmed it three years later in 2018. The rights were bought by a company called Fox, but when Disney bought Fox, they put the project aside. This made some people think that Disney is working with a group of people they call satanic elitists. Well, the people making the movie tried hard to get the rights back for Sound of Freedom. Many famous celebrities supported the movie. Mel Gibson shared a video in which he urged people to go and see the film. Human trafficking, and particularly the trafficking of children. He said one of the most disturbing problems in our world today is human trafficking, and particularly the trafficking of children. Now, the first step in eradicating this crime is awareness. Go see Sound of Freedom. Since the release of the movie, there have been several controversies, and one of them involves the lack of air conditioning in cinemas. Many people have been talking about how AMC theaters and Regal Cinemas didn't have working air conditioning during showings of the new film, Sound of Freedom. AC shut off for Sound of Freedom. I Cinemark El Paso TX. It's worth considering that the movie came out during a time of extreme heat. Temperatures have reached record highs for multiple days in a row all around the world, including the United States. A heat dome has covered a large part of the country, especially hitting the Southwest really hard. When it's this hot, regular air conditioning systems might struggle or even break down, causing discomfort for moviegoers. Do you think this could be part of a plan or just a result of the unusual heat? It's interesting to note that major streaming platforms like Netflix, Disney, and Amazon have reportedly said no to distributing the movie. Also, some Hollywood stars who usually speak up about important topics and help children are staying quiet about this movie. This is strange because usually they're not silent. One reason might be that these celebs are scared to talk about it. They might get in trouble or lose opportunities if they say the wrong thing. Jim Caviezel, who's in the movie, even shared that he lost his agents and his lawyer because he decided to do Sound of Freedom. Some people wonder if there's a plan behind all of this. They think that maybe someone is causing these issues on purpose. Denzel Washington is one of the few celebs who doesn't seem scared to speak up. He hasn't directly talked about Sound of Freedom, but in the past, he's called out Hollywood for being hypocritical. He said that Hollywood exaggerates some problems while ignoring others. He's also turned down roles he found disrespectful. Fans admire Denzel for being honest and brave. They hope more celebs will support Sound of Freedom as he might. One fan even commented, Denzel Washington is a man of honesty, integrity, and high moral standards. And yes, anyone trying to shut this movie down needs to be investigated. The biggest problem that made people talk about Sound of Freedom is its connection to a group called QAnon. This group supports former President Donald Trump and believes in a lot of unproven ideas. They're similar to a group called Antifa, but on the opposite side of the political spectrum. Both groups use crazy theories to make their members do things, sometimes even violent things. People are worried about the movie because of this connection. The main actor, Jim Caviezel, has talked about QAnon ideas at events. One of the ideas he talked about is that bad people are taking blood from kids to make a special formula that keeps rich and powerful people young forever. What do you think about this? Do you agree with Denzel or have a different view?